welcome to today's free analytic share and the next this one and the next few ones in this video list are going to be dealing with some of the internal logs of Splunk uh, so if you do not have administrative rights on your Splunk instance this won't work for you but as long as you can search the underscore internal logs those are the Splunk internals the logs that Splunk does about itself you can do these uh, videos and it's important to be able to Splunk Splunk, you want to know what's going on in your environment if you want to be proactive. And one of the first things that any security person will want to know is successful and unsuccessful logins to your Splunk interface. Maybe there people can try to attack uh, Splunk itself. So we're going to look for failed and successful logins. How do we do that? First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and let's actually just make ourselves a uh, unsuccessful well let's let's show the successful first we got an index equals underscore audit that's the audit log underscore it's for the internals and the action we're looking for success so here we're looking for any successful login if I run that query I can get back information about all the successful events if I briefly look through it I can see user agents sometimes you'll see the IP like here's the IP address that the person used to authenticate from um, etc and so anyway I can see my user is admin so I know who attempted and I can I can work with that now I'm going to log off and intentionally sign in with a bogus path well actually, I actually don't even need to change and we're going to change this to uh, bogus login I don't it's just so it clearly stands out that that's not about this user does not exist I get a login failure um, definitely don't want to save that credentials and now I have sent Splunk a, a failed login attempt and so if we come over here and we attempt to run it we run this query now we're going to change it from action equals success to action equals failure I can see that from this IP address the user bogus login made an attempt and it failed I also can see that the admin account failed a little earlier there's different times there so I can see that I can also if I want to see there's no reason you can't do them both but I mean so now I can get all my successes and failures so you can get a holistic view of them and anyway so that's my successful and unsuccessful logins over the last 60 minutes. Change your time frame however you want. Write your queries. You can search these just like any other Splunk information. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this stuff, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope you're, uh, you're show up seeing the different videos and enjoying them and that they're of use. And anyway, hope that you keep coming back.